okay, if you watch my channel, by seeing this mirror, you know what time it is. We gotta take care of this uh, two week shadow because that's how long it takes me to grow this much. So I'm gonna do that. Also still waking up. Another week, another camera store. Let's go see if they have the R7. It's Christmas. We got it. Not only did we find the R7, but we also got the lens. R7, lens. I have tried to go to camera shops from Alaska to Colorado to find just this camera. It's taken this long. So uh, now I gotta sell my other stuff, but I can at least put these boxes away because my storage unit happens to be in Denver. Because I still have, hold on one second. I've been toting around the box for the 100 to 500 for, I don't know, five months? Okay, I'm gonna put this stuff away and uh, it's Christmas. All right, so I'm currently just driving around and looking for trees and light. Ooh, that's a nice tree. Uh, that's kind of what the focus is here, but we're getting, it's, the sun goes behind the flat irons over here really early. Um, I mean, we're still uh, two hours from sunset, but it goes behind the mountain pretty quick. So we're losing light on a lot of these areas in the neighborhood. So I'm gonna keep driving around a little bit. Hopefully we find something to shoot because I promised you would be shooting something. So I feel like I gotta back that up. Okay, so I'm just looking for little areas of light rather than necessarily paying attention to color because it can be pretty chaotic to try to find something in a literal tree. So what I'm really paying attention to, or was paying attention to as the sun is already behind that peak, we lost the light in like, I don't know, two minutes. What I was really paying attention to is where the light was hitting and then kind of using that to dictate my composition. So instead of necessarily paying attention to colors or patterns or something like that, there was little spots that were gonna hit by more light than others because of this other tree that was blocking this tree. So that's kind of what I look for. Not entirely sure I got anything, but I'll put a photo on the screen now. Dry around, see if we can find some more light on some of these trees. But as you can tell, it's already in shadow over here. back to the tree from yesterday because literally the light is just gone uh so we're like right in between like this is nice light which is just now starting but then it's all going to go into shadow so i'm just trying a couple more compositions of this tree and basically what i'm trying to do to get that nice perfect sunburst that if you want to watch how to do it fully you can watch my video here however what i'm doing basically is just making the light as small as possible shooting at f16 to basically give the best possible sunburst. You always wanna shoot at F16, usually depending on your lens, but 99% of the time F16. 
and then I'm just moving back and forth using the tree to block the light at the moment before it goes behind the mountain, which it's about to do. So I'm gonna take some more shots, but that's basically what I'm doing. I'm just going back and forth. You can see the shadow on my face and I'm just making that light source as small as possible. And it's gonna give me that nice crispy sunburst. I'm gonna take a shot. All right, well, that didn't last too long. Uh, thought I had plenty of time. I even checked what time I shot this shot yesterday. And I was like, I got 40 minutes to drive around and then the light just evaporated. I mean, so much so that like the R7 and the new lens that I just bought are just sitting in the box because I literally didn't have time to unbox them or take them out. So maybe this is the last time we'll be shooting on the 16 35. I doubt it because I'll probably use both lenses until I sell this one, which by the way, if you're interested in an EF 16 35 that's been well loved over the last five years, let me know in the comments or a Fuji X-T4 that I've had for about two years. Gonna try to sell those. Uh, so if you're interested, let me know. And uh, here are the shots we just got. I took some on my iPhone, took some on the camera. Again, car's gonna be in the shot, but it's kind of like a, I don't know, a little downtown park shot that I actually really enjoyed the shot from yesterday. And I think this composition might be a little bit better with the long light on the ground. So here's that shot. Okay, so tomorrow we're gonna open that R7 box and the lens, check those out. Not opening them tonight. I will wait until tomorrow when we can do it together. Also gonna come back to this exact spot to test the sunburst patterns of that 14 to 35, which I really couldn't find online. So if you caught yesterday's episode where I was about to buy the lens when I was in Vegas, something I wanted to research by the lens and go research was what its sunburst pattern is like. If it's basically the same as the EF version or if it's a little bit crispier, a little bit better. Sometimes they'll have longer particular shots and it looks really good depending on the lens. Something I wanted to research, couldn't find any information on it. So I'm gonna do my own research. We're gonna take that 14 to 35 RF lens. We're gonna compare it to the EF lens here now that I've shot this tree twice and I know exactly what time, uh, roughly what time <laughs> the uh, sunburst pattern should be easy to take with that shot. So that's what we're gonna do tomorrow. But also tomorrow, I'm gonna come out and drive around a little bit earlier to try to see if we can find some shots of more trees with color and uh, see where the day takes us. But for this episode, I think that's gonna be it. It's just gonna be a short one, although we did make some small purchases. Uh, again, if you need a kidney, or a Fuji X-T4, or an EF 16 to 35, let me know in the comments below, or you can email me, any of those things. Anyways, I will see you tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Later.